This is Good Business San Diego. I'm Roy Robertson, and today I'm joined by Dr. Adrian Nassar, who's an endocrinologist with Kaiser Permanente San Diego. This morning we'll be talking about a topic that has likely impacted many of you watching, and that's diabetes. December is Diabetes Awareness Month, so we're going to learn more about risk factors that may impact you and how you may manage diabetes. Dr. Nassar, welcome back. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to start with kind of a definition of terms so we understand the distinction between type 1 diabetes, type 2, and pre-diabetes, which is something that people may not be aware of. Can you break that down for us? So with all of those diseases, blood sugars are elevated. Now with type 1 diabetes, people are not unable to make enough insulin. With type 2 diabetes, they make insulin, but they're resistant to it. That differs from prediabetes, which is the precursor to developing type 2 diabetes, where blood sugars are mildly elevated, but not yet to the point of type 2. The good news is no matter which type of diabetes a patient has, appropriate blood sugar control can often lead to a healthy and long life. And we'll talk more about that in just a second here. Now, let's talk about the numbers, the sheer number of people that we are talking about. I mentioned many people being affected that may be watching. Uh, nationally, what kind of numbers are we talking about? So the Centers for Disease Control estimate more than 30 million Americans have type 1 and 2 diabetes, but they're just the tip of the iceberg. A staggering one in three Americans has prediabetes, which is a huge public health concern. These are the people most at risk for going on to develop type 2 diabetes without intervention. And for anybody in any of those categories, of course, the importance, the common denominator is managing your blood, blood sugar, right, and, and being aware of that. So uh, what happens if somebody is unable to control that or is unaware of it? With prolonged elevated blood sugars, people can have some really serious side effects, things such as heart disease, stroke, infection risk, amputation, blindness, kidney disease. So that's why it's so important if you have diabetes, see your doctor regularly, take the medicines prescribed, check your blood sugars, and live an active and healthy lifestyle. And of course, early detection is always a, a, at the core of any medical condition that you possibly can offset by getting into your doctor's office, learning a little bit more. Also, awareness at home, are there any particular symptoms that people might see that might lead them to believe that they are diabetic? Patients that have prediabetes often won't even know their blood sugars are elevated. So absolutely, it's important to see your doctor regularly and get screened for it. When blood sugars do rise though, um, often manifesting as increased thirst, increased urination, blurred vision, even weight loss, reduced appetite, and generally just not feeling well overall. Those are the symptoms to expect. Dr. Nassau, we have about 30 seconds left here. So can you tell us, is it possible to prevent the development of diabetes? So you can prevent and delay the progression of type 2 diabetes by living an active lifestyle. Be active over 30 minutes a day of physical exercise. Eat healthy, reduce the carbs, reduce the sugar. And if you happen to be overweight, losing 5 to 7% of your body weight can significantly reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. So it's manageable, it's treatable, and potentially preventable too. So uh, it starts with a consultation with your physician to learn more, to be aware of some of these risk factors. Uh, so schedule a consultation with your physician to, to review your situation and see if there's something that you can do. Uh, you can also go online to Kaiser Permanente's website, which is kp.org diabetes to learn more.